Hi, hello guys. Before we move on, uh, let's congratulate our CLAT 2023 toppers. Uh, so here uh, we are here to congratulate AR2 uh, Sahil Gupta, AR37 Pratyush Chaturvedi and AR96 Komal Gadwal. And apart from these three, we had 70 plus NLU admits guys. So 70 plus people from an academy reaching out to NLU. So if you want to be one among them, all that you need to do is subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and do subscribe to an academy platform and attend our plus classes, take mock tests and you will be on the list. And this is not just happened in 2023 season. So we have done it in 2022 as well. So in 2022, we had 45 plus people attending uh, from an academy going to NLUs. And in 2023, we made it double, close to 70 plus people going there. Hi, hello guys. Uh, I'm Kalyan Charan. Welcome to an academy CLAT. And today we are going to discuss about factors and multiples. Now, in the initial part of our discussion in the previous chapters, if you have missed out, uh, looking at those chapters, please visit the description box in that uh, you get the links of all the previous chapters. Now, in previous chapters, we discussed that what is a factor and what is a multiple, right? What is a factor? Factor is a number which perfectly divides a given number. For example, what are factors of 12? Factors of 12 being 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. We discussed that these are the factors of 12. So, if I call them to be factors, they should divide the given number. If I say they should divide a given number perfectly, what do I mean by that? So, for example, if I divide 12 by 2, so 2, 12, goes 6 times and leaves out a reminder 0. What do you mean by perfect division? Perfect division is a division where your reminder becomes 0 for a quotient which is an integer. So guys, you might know that this is going to be divisor and this is quotient and this is dividend. Now here quickly to see how can I make 12? 12 could be made using 2 into 6 plus 0. So remind, remember a number n could be written as divisor into quotient plus reminder. In any division, this is how any number could be represented as. So, a factor to a number is a number which perfectly divides, perfectly divides as in which leaves a reminder 0 when we are dividing the given number with. Now, if I say A is a factor of B, if I say A is a factor of B, what does this represent? Immediately your mind should think, okay, 2 is a factor of 12. So, 2 is a factor of 12. What does that mean? That means 12 by 2 should give you a quotient which is an integer, right? Which is here, in this case, 6. So, if A is a factor of B, that actually means that b by a should give you an integer result because a perfectly divides b. All right. Now, in this scenario, you need to understand one will be factor for every number. The number itself will be a factor to every number. So, two factors which are common for any number will be one and itself. This is the story about positive factors. Do we have a negative factor? Why not? So, we discussed how do we get two factors is 1 into 12 is 12. So, that is where 1 and 12 being factors. 2 into 6 is 12. 3 into 4 gives you 12. That is how we get positive factors. What happens to the negative factors? Yes, negative factors do exist. So, minus 1 into minus 12 is also 12. So, minus 2 into minus 6 minus 3 into minus 4. So, guys, remember, when I say factors, they are not necessarily be positive factors. They could be negative factors as well. So, remember, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 6 and minus 12 are also factors of 12. All right. Now, until unless I specifically ask you how many positive factors that a number has, then the number of factors include the negative factors as well. Now, come back to uh, 
the next stage about factors or a replica of factors is nothing but multiples. So, multiples is nothing but a counter uh, to that of factors. If we know that 2 is a factor of 12, then 12 could be called as a multiple to 12. If I say 12, what are the multiples of 12? 12, 24, 36, so on and so forth. So, what are multiples? Multiples are nothing but a number multiplied by an integer. What are multiples of a number? Multiples of a number is nothing but the number multiplied by any other integer will make it a multiple of a number. So, remember that the number itself will always be the multiple of a given number. The number itself will always be a multiple to the given number. Now, for example, if I say 36 is a multiple of 12. What do I mean by 36 is a multiple of 12? That means when I divide 36 by 12, I get an integer result. Am I clear? So, in the similar fashion, A is a multiple of B. If I say A is a multiple of B, what does that reference? That refers to A by B should give me an integer. As I said, if A is a factor of B, then B by A should be an integer, which means B is a bigger number. If A is a multiple of B, then A by B should be an integer. Here, A is a bigger number. Alright, guys. So, that is about uh, multiples and uh, factors. Just like factors, even in multiples, the negative multiples exist. Right? If I say negative multiples exist, what does that refers to? So, what are multiples of 12? The negative multiples of 12 will be minus 12, minus 24, minus 36, so on, so forth. So, just like positive multiples, negative multiples also do exist. Until unless if I specifically ask you what are the positive multiples of uh, 12, then this is how we go ahead. So, this is about factors and multiples and the application of factors and multiples comes with finding LCM and HCF. What is LCM? Least common multiple. So, if I say LCM, out of the multiples, I am going to look at the least common multiple. And what is HCF? HCF is highest common factor. So, out of the factors, we are looking at the highest common factor. So, this is something that we are going to discuss in the next video. So, stay tuned and uh, see you all again. Let's crack it. Let's concentrate on CLAT 2024 and let's get our NLU admit secured. See you all in the next video.